joining me. Welcome to Digimedia Pro's coverage of the Edit Fest LA here at Walt Disney Studios. Thanks so much. This is my third year. I keep coming oh, back third for year? more. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you like it? I absolutely yeah, yeah, do. Yeah. This is a great opportunity for uh, young filmmakers to meet people and to become acquainted with you know, the process and right. the people that are involved in this industry that are really making a difference. Awesome. Now, um, you're an editor, right? I am an editor, what yes. What do you edit? So right now, I'm actually editing my first feature-length film. Congratulations. Um, this is a three-year uh, editing job that I've had right now. This is, um, and I think that this kind of echoes a lot of what I'm hearing um, at this event, which is to never give up and to keep going. And what I've actually done is I produce content uh, you know, for work and to make money and stuff. But for the past three years, I've been working on this documentary and we're just finishing it and probably the next four weeks we'll be done. So it's really exciting. Can you share the name of it and yeah, where it's so going to be shown? The working title right now is Dennis and Lois and it's going to be this really awesome documentary about two people that met about 44 years ago at a club in New York called CBGB's. And they went to go see this band that nobody had heard about called the Ramones. And suddenly now they're in deep with the Ramones and oh they're selling gosh. the Ramones merchandise and meeting other bands through the Ramones, connecting bands with bands, and songs have actually been written about them. That's so awesome. They've got a really unique story and even at 73 years old they're still going to punk rock shows. Are they really? Yeah. And where will this be shown? Uh, we're really hoping to debut at Tribe Tribeca actually okay. because so starting with the film festival. Yeah, circuit. we want to do just a small film circuit, but ultimately the goal is to get on video on demand, Netflix and Amazon. So, um, what is your favorite project you worked on? Is it this one? This is my favorite project, and I'll tell you why. This is beyond a passion project. This now feels like I have given birth to something, and <laughs> I've seen it from when it started seven years ago when my buddy picked up, uh, gosh, his HVX, I think he was shooting on. And right now, I've sifted through 500 hours of content, and I've whittled the story down to what I think is a solid 75 minutes. Nice, what do you edit in? Uh, right now I use Premiere and I use Avid and uh, uh, this actual project is edited in Final Cut 7 and it's embarrassing for me to tell you that, but that's well, what Well, not we're really, using right I now. mean, it doesn't matter the tool ultimately, right? It's that's the, very it's true, the, story. the tool doesn't matter. Um, it's at the core of the story, but what can get in the way is the, is tool. the tool. right? And in this particular case, with the amount of footage that we're working with, there's just no way that this application is able to handle all this. So I really feel like this is kind of like my last project in Final Cut 7. Yeah, yeah so, And it feels really good to say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're good for you. Well, hey, I know the panel is starting up. Yeah. And Jeremy, thank you so much Absolutely. for taking your time. Thanks and enjoy so Edifest. Yeah.